We want to get back to Rachel Carden now, who is live, keeping an eye on the Jones Falls, which is really raging right now. Yeah. It, Rachel? It's very loud. Sounds like Whitewater Rapids, Rachel. That's right, Lynn and Tim. You were actually just speaking to Chief James Wallace. I listened to him in the press conference yesterday, and he was saying that just six inches of moving water can knock a grown person off their feet. We have way more than six inches of moving water and moving very fast here in Jones Falls. You can see anytime there's that white water, you can tell just how strong the current is. And also, the debris in the water is very interesting. We can tell that trees are coming down, branches are breaking off after we had that wind. Now, this is the first time I'm coming to you live where it's not raining, and we we don't have any of that drainage coming from the JFX now into Jones Falls. But again, all the water, all the rain we've had in this area is slowly draining into Jones Falls. Again, an area prone to flooding, Clipper Mill. We always have flooding in this parking lot. So we're not out of the woods just yet when it comes to the issues we could be dealing with really all day with water. Again, how strong this water is, how high it's gotten has pushed over some of these shrubs, some of the trees that are in Jones Falls, catching a lot of that debris, like you've seen, branches floating down the riverway here. Now, obviously, with um, the area and the people who live here and work here who know how dangerous it can be and how high the water can get, we've already had um, businesses that have been blocking their windows and doors. You can see some of them here with plywood on the door here at Meadow Mill Athletic Club just to prepare in case there is any water or there is any damage from Tropical Storm. Isaias. So, again, this is a spot that we're aware of, that the city is aware of, that they often have problems with. They mentioned it yesterday to stay clear of roadways. We did just take a quick loop around along the road that runs along Jones Falls to make sure there wasn't any water across the roadway. So far, the roadways appear to be clear. But, again, this is what you need to watch out for. If any of this raging water jumps the bank and ends up on any of these bridges or any of the streets, we do have some road work down at the end of Jones Jones Falls. You just want to be careful. Again, do not drive through any water on the roadways. Turn around, don't drown is a phrase for a reason. You don't know how deep it is. Your car could become disabled. You could end up putting yourself and your family in a very dangerous situation, as the chief was just mentioning. So we'll continue to track this again through the noon hour and just bring you any of the other flooded areas or down trees in the city. But we'll send it back to TV Hill for now. Rachel, thank you. Thank you.